today I am here for another first impressions and wear test for a new product that Glossier literally just launched and it is the Skywash. Skywash is basically a matte eyeshadow. That's what it is. Skywash comes in seven shades which I have today with me to test out, share with you guys my first impressions, swatch it out for you, test it out. Uh, throughout the day and then let you know how it fares and basically just give you like an honest opinion speaking of honest opinions I was not the biggest fan of the lid star because mostly I prefer matte eyeshadows when I do my eyeshadow like I don't really reach for lid star like it would be maybe like once every few months. I'm really glad that Glossier actually launched something like this, like a matte version of eyeshadows because that's something that I feel is so very Glossier as well. Although it says that it's a sheer matte lid tint. I'm kind of curious how sheer it's gonna be and if it's gonna be buildable. Like if you want it to be like richer or something. I actually have not seen it at all. So I haven't opened it, like this is fresh from yesterday's delivery. I'm gonna go with this shade. This one is called Valley. So right off the bat, I actually really like the packaging. The packaging is quite nice. You know how they said it's a matte eyeshadow? The packaging is also matte and I love that. And it's like really nice quality, doesn't feel cheap at all. Props to Glossier for that, I really like it. It's uh, the kind of eyeshadow that is basically a doe foot applicator for easy application, basically like lid star. How much product is in this? 3.5 ml or 0.11 fluid ounce. I don't know why I bothered checking how much product there is because I, it's not like I really understand how much 3.5 ml is. And this shade is called Pool. It's a really nice blue. I'm not the biggest fan of like blue eyeshadow, but I'm excited to try that out. Here we have a pebble. I'm a big fan of like earthy tones or like neutral tones. So I'm already seeing shades that I am, I'm liking a lot. And then here we have Lawn. Oh wow, that is green. <laughs> this one I'm also curious to try out. It's very bright green, literally lawn colored. This one is called Terra. I already like it. This one is called Echo another earthy shade that I probably will like as well. In seven shades inspired by unglazed pottery, David Hockney paintings, and Southwest landscapes, Skywash is a long wearing eyeshadow with a diffused matte finish. Just sweep it on with a doe foot applicator and tap to blend out. A little bit adds some depth to the eye. <laughs> depth, depth, depth. Why is that so hard to say? A little bit adds some depth, depth, depth. What is happening to me? Add more for a refined modern wash of color. Lawn is a fresh green. Pool is a corn flower blue. Pebble is a neutral taupe. Valley is a warm peach. Terra is a burnt sienna. Echo is a cocoa brown. And Palm is a golden beige. Oh wait, I have one more. I'm so sorry, I didn't even notice. Apparently I can't count because I only have six in my hand and I thought I was done. This one is Palm. Palm is the golden beige, that's the one. When I was reading the card, I was like, Palm is golden beige, what? I don't remember seeing a palm and I'm like, duh, it's because I never opened it. And this is Palm, I also really like it. Other info that you guys might be interested in knowing, it is ophthalmologist tested, dermatologist tested, long wear up to 12 hours, smudge resistant, gluten free, vegan, all the shades are vegan, cruelty free, formulated without fragrance. I think that's pretty much all the info you guys would need. Let's start swatching this baby. So I'm gonna start off with the first one, which is lawn in fresh green. I'll start here. Oh, quite neon-y, yeah? I don't know if it's maybe um, contrasting a little bit with my skin tone. That's why it's looking a little yellow, but I mean, I don't mind yellow eyeshadow. It doesn't dry right away, but when you do tap it out, it kind of helps in the mattifying effect. So, yeah. So it stays a little bit, um, what do you call it, like wet? 
I guess that's the word, until you start blending it out, which is great because then you have more control with like blending it out. But that is what long looks like. And I'm gonna try one more layer just to see how green it can get. Just a little bit more green. But honestly, I can't really, I can't really like judge if it's just in the back of my hand. It might act differently if it's on my eyelid. That's why I will have to test it out on my eyelid as well. But for now, let's just swatch out the colors so you guys can see what they look like. The next is pool. Cool cornflower blue. That is a nice blue. I kind of like that. So this is the blended out version of the swatch and it it's looking nice and powdery actually. And then next we have pebble. So that's pebble. I quite like this actually. But you know what? Pebble disappears pretty quickly. Like, I feel like you would really, really have to go with layers to really get a nice, like, pebbly color. I would imagine that if you have more of like a uh, pinkish undertones in your skin, especially like for the lighter skinned people out there, this would disappear pretty quick. Like my skin tone, I'm neutral undertones and I don't even have like that pinkish undertone. It might pop for you guys. I don't know, it's not like I can really test it. I'm gonna try one more layer. Like initially when you do put it on, like it's there. But once you start blending it, that's a different story. <laughs> Here we have Valley. I have high hopes for this. Please don't let me down. Ooh. Okay, this I love. <gasps> yes. This is a shade I will be using a lot because I really like those like peachy, orangey shades. I don't know why. It's just been my thing for like a few years now. <laughs> I haven't gotten tired of it. But yeah, that's quite nice. Next we have Tara. I'm definitely a bigger fan of Obvious, the darker shades, obviously. So that is Tara. And let's start blending. That's quite nice. These two go together. Next is Echo, this cocoa brown shade. I'm not used to using my left for anything, so this is gonna be a mess, but yeah, it's a dark brown shade. Let's see how that goes. And there we go, nice. The last is Palm, it's a golden beige. Palm just blended right into my skin. So this is another shade that I feel like if you really want it to pop, you would have to do layers for sure. If you're wondering what my shade is for like Glossier, I am a G8. So if you're a G8 as well, this is what the eyeshadows would most likely look on you. Now that they're all dry, I'm touching. It does have a powdery finish. It doesn't seem to smudge either. Like I don't get anything on my fingers. I'm curious how this would look on my eyes. Since I wanted to swatch each one on my eyelids, I just realized that to make it quicker and easier, I could just do one shade each on each eye. So I'm gonna start with these two. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Should I cover my whole eyelid? Probably. Yeah, I know it's looking pretty rough right now, but I have to blend it out. So please don't come after me in the comments. You know what? I'm not mad about that. I was actually thinking like green is not gonna like look good on me. It's like a nice sheer greenish, like yellow green almost, on me at least. I don't see myself using this shade often though because just because it's not my normal go-to, it's not like a shade that I actually enjoy to wear. Like I'm not a very colorful person when it comes to like my makeup. And that is pool, one layer of pool. I thought I would like pool better than lawn, but I actually like the lawn shade better. This pool shade almost looks gray on me. I'm gonna try doing one more layer, just out of curiosity. I just wanna know. I wanna see if it will, you know, start patching up. Okay, yeah, it is getting patchy. In this part right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like there's a weird patch there that just won't fill in for some reason. It's not a big deal to me considering that I probably would not be wearing two layers of this anyway. Like I kind of like the first layer and how like sheer it was and the color payoff and all of that. I don't see how I would ever need to wear two layers and have it like really pop unless I was, you know, going to like an 80s themed party, which I probably will never. <laughs> Not because it wouldn't be cool, but because I 
don't have friends or I don't go out that much. Let's see if that patches up. I already have a feeling it might, but I don't want to jinx it. I kind of wish the initial pool payoff color would like be this blue. I'm still a fan of the <laughs> lawn shade. I'm gonna try removing this. So this is basically just a reusable pad damp with a little bit of milky jelly on it. I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, use makeup wipes. I don't use makeup wipes. I don't own any makeup wipes. They're bad for the environment. Next up is Pebble and Valley. Pebble, if you guys remember, was this shade right here. Hopefully. It does better on my eyelid. I mean, it's not so bad. I can I can see it, but it's not like, you know, let's do one more layer and see if that would help. Actually, it's not it's not looking very patchy. I don't know if I'm a fan of this shade. It's quite nice for like a natural no makeup makeup look, I think, I feel. And then on the other eye, I'm gonna put on Valley. Crossing my fingers that it is not patchy. Let's do one more layer. And there we go. That's two layers of Valley on my eyelids. Didn't patch up. I quite like that. I think this is something that I would use very often. Next up, we have Terra and Echo. So I'm gonna go with Terra first. Oh wow, I just made a mess. Okay, that's not the best eyeshadow application ever, but it'll do. I just wanted to show you guys how it's blending out. Actually, I might be able to get it to look better if I maybe used a brush. Actually, yeah, that works. So I kind of like Terra a lot. This one is definitely a lot less sheer, obviously, because it's a darker color, but I really, oh, I love it. I mean, I don't think I need another layer. I probably would, wouldn't like do two layers for this, but because I tested out everyone else, everyone else, because I tested out the rest, I have to do the same for this. Yeah, this is a little bit patchy. I don't know if it's my eyelid because it patches up in the same areas. It's like in this area. You guys tell me if it looks patchy because sometimes I can't tell, but does that look patchy to you guys? And then we have Echo, this cocoa brown color. You could probably do like a brown smoky eye with this. Ooh, that is really rich. I'm worried about this because it's so dark and it might be difficult to blend just because it is a lot darker than the other shades. Hopefully it looks fine. So here we have Echo in one layer and let's do another layer. This one is actually really nice. This does not look patchy at all. It, look, it looks, looks pretty good. I'm not sure I'm a fan of like dark shades like this on me. So it's not a color that I would probably wear much. And if I do, if ever, I would keep it on my lower lid only, like up until this point right here and then blend it out. Kind of like a smudgy eyeliner look, but not my whole eyelid. But I did the whole eyelid so that you guys can see better. And the last shade, this one is called Palm, which is the golden beige. Oh wait, this is the one that blended right into my skin. So maybe this isn't the right shade to leave on for the rest of the day. I'm not mad about it. I actually quite like it because I could use this for like my usual everyday no makeup look. I was expecting way worse, but it's actually not that bad. Do another and see if we can get this to look a little bit darker. Because for sure, even if I'm gonna be using this shade to do like my no makeup makeup looks, I would still probably wanna do two layers because one layer I feel is just too, too sheer. <gasps> I don't know why it always patches up in like this part of my eye. Like what, what's there? See, like that's, that's the thing that these, um, like the patchiness occurs in one spot so I don't, think it's the product. I think it's my eyelid. There's like a force field in that area. It's still patchy in that area. 
it might really be my my eye because I mean to be fair when I was doing the swatches like I did another swatch of this it didn't really patch up okay so I've put on Terra and Valley on my eyelid so I have Terra on the lower and then Valley on top and then I just blended it out it is around 12 50 p.m and I'll probably come back in a few hours to let you guys know how it's going. I think they're really promising and I think you guys will end up liking it too, but I can't completely recommend it right now because I'm still testing it out, but later on I will let you guys know my complete final thoughts and if I think it is great. Okay, so silly me, I realized I had not talked about the pricing. I will get back to you guys in a few hours and let you guys know my final thoughts. So I'm back and it is currently 8.33 p.m. I've kept the eyeshadow on my face for as long as I could. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference and it still looks pretty much, I don't know if you guys, I have to come close, but it still looks pretty much more or less the same as earlier. However, like I have some smudging on this part. Earlier I was in bed and I had my hand on my face. You know, sometimes it's like this and whatever. It kind of smudges a little bit but I mean if you're not purposely touching your eye all the time I think it's gonna be fine like this eye would I recommend this product definitely but it depends if you are into like matte eyeshadows or like the sheer look I like all the earthy tones I think that's pretty much it if you guys want to know anything else if you have certain questions that I didn't already like cover in this video you can just send me a message ah before I forget if you guys want 10% off on your first purchase on Glossier you can use my rep link down below you get 10% off and free shipping on orders over $30 full disclaimer I get a commission if you do use my link and you get 10% off I get a small commission win-win for both of us everyone's happy. So yeah, I probably should have mentioned this like in the start of the video, but I'm, I'm just, I'm terrible at like organizing my thoughts for videos. I just wing it, you know? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.